For the writing section, I want to make, I guess, a few points pretty clear. The first one I'm really excited about, and that's that I'm really happy with this section and teaching you this section because from my experience, it's the easiest for you to improve on. It's really, if you focus on it, it takes time and it's energy. I'm not saying it's easy, but it's the easiest from my experience. So your invested study time is really going to pay dividends with your score, meaning it's going to get higher. So make sure to focus on this and as always, read everything carefully. Uh, the second point that I want to mention is sometimes students have a little bit of confusion with word count, but I am for the best of my ability, to the best of my ability, uh, explaining it as clearly as I can in the video and in the paragraph. So make sure that you listen and watch everything because usually I notice the students who have uh, trouble with understanding how to use the word count to help them perhaps don't listen and focus on the entire video. But if you guys have a question, let me know and I'd be happy to give you more details about it. Uh, the last point that I want to mention is about our free TOEFL writing practice. So this I'm excited about because you're actually, just like with the speaking, reading, and listening, you're going to have a practice uh, recording and everything for you to apply what you learned with. So what I want to also do is let you know that you have an opportunity to submit your essays for feedback. So free feedback, which is awesome. So all I want you to do is make sure that you submit them according to test conditions. So I know that many of you do your best to send me great essays, which is awesome, but we don't want to receive your best essays. We actually want to receive your worst essays because that's going to give us an opportunity to know where you're struggling and it's going to give us the best ability to help you improve. Make sure that when you write your essays, don't use WordPad for Microsoft or Pages for Mac. Make sure if you do, you take away the autocorrect. You don't want to do that. That's not on the TOEFL. So keep your spelling real, keep your grammar real, and keep your timing real. Don't make sure that you don't spend extra time. I know that it's tough to submit an unfinished essay, but that's going to give us an opportunity to know that you need to work on timing. And it's going to give us uh, the opportunity to give you exercises to help you with that. So make sure that you do that. Follow the instructions here. And as always, if you have any questions, go to the Contact Us to find out how to call, email us. Also about our TOEFL products for those of you looking for a 24 in the writing or above, or a 26 or a 28 for those of you PhD candidates. We have guaranteed programs where we really help you get the top score possible. So good luck. Any questions, let us know. We're here to help.